This is the ninth video that I'm throwing together and I'm yapping and grumbling a bit at times uh, regarding the, the dandy house. Uh, we were touching on EMF meters, electromagnetic field strength meters. Uh, they say that when a ghost is near, it gives off different frequencies. Okay. No one's ever proved that an EMF meter actually will pick up a ghost. I mean, they don't know that's what's causing it. Uh, maybe it's just the study of of these things and, and how they want things to be when they go on an investigation. Because if you go on an investigation and nothing happens, well, you feel kind of stupid that you spent that much time in a building and nothing happened. Uh, we did a K2 uh, a session one time in the kitchen of the Dandy House. And after we did it, you know, I, I, I should have thought a little harder because we, my friends... I had three friends who went up with me often to the house, Tina, Angel, and Nick. Uh, you know, guys, you know, everybody knows who you guys are. I don't need to put your last names on there. Besides, people will be bothering the hell out of you like they do me. We used to go to the house quite often and mainly just to check on its uh, welfare because people were breaking in, vandalizing, just tearing the place up because they were cool. We did a session one time in the kitchen. And uh, as I said, I should have thought twice about doing this because it, it did upset one of the family members, one of the dandy family members. But we were asking for Laura to, uh, to come and visit. And, you know, I don't know what to make of K2s other than they're a novelty item, just like the Frank boxes and everything else. We, uh, we were asking, is Laura Dandy here? And the meter, meters were doing nothing. Actually, I think we had two meters that night, but one that we were holding together, Tina and I. And we asked again, is, uh, is Laura here? And the meter spiked up. I think, what is there? There's five, five lights on a, a K2 meter. And the stronger the signal, the more the lights. Uh, it starts with green and goes all the way to red. Um, we asked if Laura was there several, a couple of times, and finally it went up. And I said to Laura, back away from the meter, back away from us. I, 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 guess, I guess that's one of the ways uh, you tell a spirit that, you know, how to communicate using a K2 meter. Uh, they come close, it goes off. They back away, it it goes off. That's what I said twice, but you know what I mean. Um, are you here, Laura? And the light went on. And I said, uh, Laura, can you back away from the meter? And after a few seconds, the meter, the signal went down. And Tina said, Laura, do you miss your mom? And the meter went up again. And you know, when this happens spot on, it makes you think this is what's really happening. You're communicating with a spirit. Uh, it was asked, do you miss Michael? It went up again. It went down. Tina asked, do you miss Paul? Again, a reaction with the meter. It went up. We asked, do you miss Mary? And it didn't. It didn't react. And uh, I, I, this, this video of this K2 session is on my Facebook wall. And Mary saw this, this session. And it was very upsetting to her because she was wondering why she would miss me more than she would miss her. And it really, really bothered me that it bothered her. Because Mary's a sweetheart. But all, all the, all the, the dandy kids were, were great. They really were. Um... Uh, Laura was my favorite. I, I had a special place in my heart for her. She, she was a special child. She had uh, learning disabilities, but she was as bright as the sun. And I used Laura as my barometer in the house. If she didn't give me that sly smile when I came visiting, 
and uh, she would look at me and look at me with a either a puzzled look or a concerned look. She would never say to me, "They're here. They're bothering you. They're or they're bothering us. They're they're coming near." As a matter of fact, when Laura got frightened, she wouldn't even tell her mom. She would go down and sleep on the couch. Uh, she was a brave little child. Um, it really bothers me that uh, some of the investigators that go into the house are asking for Laura Dandy, Laura Dandy, Laura Dandy. The damn thing is, you know, I, I've always, not always, but I, 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 in the last few years, have kind of put it in my mind that Laura may have been the catalyst for the activity that was happening in the house that uh, she was connected with some some energy or forces or whatever. I'm, I'm going to be kind of like Father Alphonsus. You know, he had a serious problem with saying the word ghost. He really, really did. He didn't like the word. He didn't like the terminology of ghost. And if you, as a matter of fact, there's a video on YouTube with him there. Um, he was being interviewed by Mason Winfield. And when he... When he did use the word ghost, it was really hard for him to spit it out. Um, he was a great little fella. But K2 meters, I think, are, are no more than, you know, they're, they're just a, a, a chance type deal. Uh, I, I've watched so many, so many sessions with K2s. And, uh, gosh, you know, I know I'm going to get people upset, but I really don't care. I don't. I mean, I, I care if I hurt their feelings. I, I very much care if I hurt their feelings. But I don't care if uh, they don't like my opinions. I really don't. Because I've been in that house more than anybody else, any, including the Dandy family. I mean, they lived there five years. They were there every day for five years. The girls were sometimes in Buffalo. But... As far as visiting and doing investigations, uh, or, or not even doing investigations, because I wasn't doing investigations, I was just there sitting in the living room, and if something happened, it happened. I wasn't sitting there all the time talking to spirits. But I probably have spent more time in the house than, than anybody else other than the Dandy family members. And I know a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, of believe uh, paranormal have spent an awful lot of time there. So, you know, maybe we have about the same amount of time, but I'm just trying to make a, a, a statement that, uh, it, it bugs the living hell out of me that so many people go up there with these sessions and, and they'll, I, I've watched them and watched them and watched them. And some are really very interesting. I have to admit, it really seems like there's something happening there. And it, it with us too, with, with the Laura session and with other ones as well. But these guys that are so wanting something to happen, I've got to have a ghost in my room with me. They'll ask a question, and the meter does nothing. They'll ask the same question three minutes later, two minutes later, and the meter does nothing. When the meter does do something, right away, there it is. Okay, we got one and one plus two is, is two. No, no, it's not. It's not. And you investigators, amateurish, or, or even the ones that do this all the time, Think about it, people. Really, honestly, come on. Do you really believe that every time that meter goes off, it's a goddamn ghost talking to you? No, because I took a K2 meter. I have a huge cornfield out back of my house. There's no power lines anywhere. There's nothing. And I didn't ask anything. I just stood next, and this is the honest to God truth. I stood there in that cornfield for 45 minutes, and that meter occasionally would go off to red. It would stay at red for minutes at a time. And then go down and do nothing for another 15 minutes. So I suppose at that time I had some Native American who was chucking some of the corn. I don't know. I, I know I'm being, sometimes I'm being arrogant. Uh, I might be getting a little bit hot-headed. But what bothers me is all of the hoopla that's been going on in the house. And the reasons why some of the new stuff is happening, or, or I shouldn't say the reasons why, but the, the idea of the reasons why. You know, all of these, these main, main places that people investigate with their K2s, they all get the same hits. 
that's it's terminology i guess you get a hit on a k2 meter it means that you you've gotten a connection with a spirit ah, it's just it drives me nuts and now i i, I want to talk about something that i personally have done numerous times and thought you know what Th these new ways of communicating with spirits work oh boy many mag lights have a twisting top to them so to turn it on turn it off adjust the beam and if you turn it just right just to where it goes off and uh, you set it down and you start asking questions if there's a man in the room would you turn on the light for me if there's a female in the room would you turn on if there's children in the room if there's more than four spirits in the room if you drank coffee this morning whatever whatever question you want to throw out there and then suddenly the light comes on well again I, i'm not going to throw all this technical crap into everybody's face but at least go to the youtube videos and and look at mag lights and the the debunking of mini mag lights and why they come on uh, which is something I didn't, you know, I really, I really believed when I started doing this myself, I, I just did it. I, I don't think I saw someone else do it before me. I just did it and it seemed to work, but it didn't work right when I asked the question. Sometimes it was, it was as much as two minutes. So that, that immediately made me skeptical again, but, and that's what's happening too. And, and so many of them that I've watched along with the K2, Two minutes go by, nothing happens. Three minutes go by, they ask another question. They'll ask two questions. And suddenly the light comes on and that's an answer from a spirit. No, the hell, it's not an answer from nothing. Maybe sometimes it is, but I still can't see why a spirit is going to answer you through a device. I was answered by whatever energy is in the, on the property, in the house, whatever used to be what I called my heat wave. In my book, I tell, I, I, I speak of a heat wave. This, it's the weirdest damn thing. I can't explain it to anybody. And I've tried to explain it. And, and over the years, over 42 years of trying to explain what this thing was, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Uh, I'll get on that in the next segment of this i'm gonna i'll shut this one off we're at 13 minutes now that he, now that youtube allows us 15 minutes i'll stop it at 13 see you in a minute or a few